Hello, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hello, hello. So today we're going to be doing something that I'm actually surprised I haven't done yet. And that's uh, reviewing some of the Victoria's Secret perfumes. I don't have every single ah. perfume. Excuse me, dog. I'm talking here. Ah. Zero respect. No, I don't have all of them, um, but I do have a lot of them. Um, I bought this little tester set that has a whole bunch of their line and I also have some in like these like paper packets I just I think I just have one in there that's not in here so yeah if you're interested in any other ones that you know I have um, I'll try to mention some of them in this video that um, I know I love um, but yeah if you're ever curious about a bunch of their perfumes let's review them now I've surprisingly not actually tried all of their perfumes there's a lot of them that I didn't like in the past my nose has changed um, I haven't smelled all of them especially not recently, so I'm very curious to try. I know I love the bombshell line usually, but the other ones I never really considered. So why don't we start with the bombshell line? So let's talk about Original Bombshell, which is probably their most popular perfume that they've had. Um, bombshell is what you think of when you think of Victoria's Secret. There are so many flankers to the Original Bombshell, like so many different ones, and there's so many that I personally really love. Um, but the very good old original it says it's a fruity floral. It has purple passion fruit, Shangri-La peony, and vanilla orchid. So it's definitely a floral smell, but it's a very like light, clean uh, floral smell. I do also find it kind of sexy in like a very nice kind of pink, fresh, girly way. Peony is definitely the star of the show. It is just a simple peony scent. Um, not everybody loves Bombshell, which is surprising to me because I think it's such a pleasant, like, nobody could really hate it kind of scent. But I will say there's something slightly sharp about it that's a little, like, I don't know whether I should call it green or something like that. There's just a tiny bit of a sharp floral note in there. Not in, like, a mature way, old lady way, like, nothing like that. It's just, um, there's just a slight sharpness to it where it's not rounded out perfectly. But mostly you just get a peony scent that has some fruitiness. I wouldn't say it's like juicy fruity. It's just a very light, fresh, fruity floral, very simple, sexy, girly, feminine, just a all around really good feminine scent. Now I have always loved Bombshell. Bombshell has been one of my favorite scents of all time. Every flanker I usually really enjoy. I will say lately and nowadays, I'm not that much into it. It is a fruity floral. It's definitely everything I like, but that sharp note just seems to be more and more prominent for me. It's just one of those safe kind of blind buys, I'd say, or safe gift if you want to gift it to someone. Um, it's just a very pretty scent. Um, I will say I'm no longer impressed by it, but it's definitely pretty. Up next, you guys, we have Bombshell Seduction, which I've mentioned before is one of my favorites. Um, this is a fl warm floral, which usually I don't like. This is White Peony, Sage, and Velvet Musk. Now, I will say, originally, the body mist of this was my all-time favorite. The perfume seemed a little heavier on the sage, which made me like it a little less. Um, I did finish a body mist of this. It is beautiful. It's very fresh. You definitely smell sage. There is that girly peony in there as well. A little bit of musk, but it's, it is warm, but it's very fresh and warm. It's almost cozy, and that sage makes it kind of grounded. It's kind of what warms it up a little bit with that muskiness. It's a very pleasant scent. Um, I will say that over time, using it like daily, because I did use up the mist and I used it almost every day, the sage seemed to come out more and more, and I kind of the scent got old for me because of that sage. But if you're just using it once in a while, it's very beautiful. Such a feminine, fresh, out of the shower, clean, but sexy sage peony musk scent. It's very pretty, very pretty. It's definitely one of my favorite bombshell flankers. All right, next one we've got is Bombshell Intense. I can't remember if I've ever smelled this, but this is the first one that I never owned. Um, this says it's a fruity floral has lush cherry, red peony, sultry vanilla. So peony seems to be a run-on theme in the bombshell. Um, since I will say like a deeper vanilla scent um, isn't my favorite, but cherry, cherry is good. 
Okay, so this is... Definitely smells exactly like the notes. I get a lot of vanilla. It's a sweet, sweet vanilla, and the, words, the word sultry does make sense. It's a little deeper and a little musky. And the cherry... You can definitely smell... There's peony, but I will say this isn't my favorite, and I'm not a big vanilla, like a heavy, musky vanilla kind of girl. Um, but if you like cherry and vanilla, you might really enjoy this. It's very pretty, but that vanilla, the type of vanilla they use, isn't my favorite. And the cherry, too, is a little deeper and darker. I prefer a bright, like, tart cherry. It's nice. I can understand, um why it's an intense version. I don't think it has much to do with the original. I mean, it does have that peony in there, but really all I smell is that cherry and vanilla. But in like a musky light way. It's not my favorite, but I can see why people like this, especially since a lot of people have been enjoying those like cherry fragrances. Next, you guys, we've got Bombshell Passion. I love the bottle. It's like these this deep, sexy, hot pink and purple kind of. Uh, bottle, this has, it's a floral, this has Sparkling Cassis, Queen Peony, Fuchsia Rose. Maybe they do all have peony. For some reason I never knew that, but that sounds really pretty. I'm not huge into rose, but this does sound very good. Oh, this is good. This is very juicy and rich. Mmm. This smells almost a little fruity to me. It's like mouth-watering. I definitely get rose and peony, like it is a floral, but it's this deep kind of sexy, it almost smells purple, like a purple fruity floral. None of the bombshells I'd say are super, super heavy or obnoxious. This is just really beautiful. It's almost like electric purple, like that's the color I think of when I smell this. It's fruity, it's sexy, it's a little refreshing while still being deep and sexy. It kind of reminds me of, um, and it doesn't smell like this, it just reminds me of it, Gucci Absolute Pore Fatme. That one is very mixed reviews. It's like a jammy berry um, with this woodsy note. It's definitely more unisex, um, even though I kind of consider it more feminine because it does have those woodsy notes, but that jammy like berry I don't think is a guy scent, um, stereotypically, but Regardless, um, it reminds me of that because that has this like jammy, sexy, mouth-watering berry. And that's what that makes me think of. This does also have this like sexy purple berry kind of mouth-watering scent while still being refreshing, still being floral. It's really good. Not usually a scent that I feel like I need, but I can definitely appreciate it. Definitely a good one. Um, if you're hunting for something kind of sexy, fruity and floral, I definitely recommend Bombshell Passion. It's good. Uh, that's all the bombshells I have in here, but I will mention other ones that I love. I love the summer one that comes out every year. It has been called Bombshell Beach, it's been called uh, Bombshell Summer, it's been called Bombshell Paradise, I think. It's been called a lot of things. That one smells like an orange starburst. It's a very nice, refreshing, citrusy, fruity floral. That one's absolutely amazing. Probably my favorite bombshell of all time. Bombshells in Bloom. That one's a very girly, girly girl, um, aquatic floral. Also free floral, but I get more like aquatic floral notes out of that one. It's beautiful. Definitely a safe blind buy if you like just like watery florals. It smells so refreshing, perfect for spring and summer. That one's amazing. Um, bombshell, the new sun drenched one. I did make a post about it. Beautiful scent. Beautiful, beautiful, fruity, kind of beachy suntan kind of scent. It was really pretty, but I don't need it. All right, now we're going to move on to teas. All right, so first I have the original teas, which I haven't smelled in a very long time. I know so many people love the teas perfume. I will say my friend from back in the day used to wear it, and I never really liked it, so I never thought about getting it, but that was a long time ago, so I'm excited to smell this again. Um, they also changed the packaging of this, which is kind of cute. So this is considered a warm gourmand, which is probably why I never liked it. Um, I'm not that into warm fragrances. It has white gardenia, uh, pear, and black vanilla. Um, so yeah, so that probably explains it. As you guys know, vanilla, warm, floral type fragrances aren't my favorite, but regardless, maybe, maybe something has changed. This just takes me back to like being a teenager. I really like this. 
I feel like back in the day, I smell this everywhere. This is actually kind of refreshing. It reminds me of, I don't want to say this in like a really negative way, but like a lot of cheap celebrity perfumes, I feel like smell like this. It also, for some reason, is reminding me of um, Britney Spears' fantasy. Not sure why. <laughs> Literally no idea. That pear and that floral note are definitely there. The pear specifically, I think, freshens it up a little bit. We get that vanilla. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. It's sweet. I can see why so many people like this one. This smells like a popular girl. Like, you're sexy, but you're sweet, you're still young, like, so how evil could you be, you know, being popular? Well, I guess according to teen movies, pretty evil, but like in real life, like that popular girl in the locker room that sprays herself with this and you're like, why am I not you, you know? Just kidding, be yourself, that is the best thing you can be. It's really pretty. I don't think I'd ever need a full size of this, but I see why people like teas. Next, you guys, I have Teas Creme Cloud. I remember when this came out, um... I think people had very mixed reviews about this. I smelled it in store and I actually really, really liked it. And I thought maybe when there's a sale, I'll pick it up. Um, I think this is a really good fragrance, but I haven't smelled it in a while. So let's see, this is an Airy Gourmand. Vanilla Morang, Morang, oops, I don't know. Santal Flower Sheer Amber. Not an amber fan, but sheer makes me think it's not so bad. I find this to be beautiful. It's an airy, sweet, almost whipped cream scent. It really is like a cloud. For some reason, this is what I imagined when I heard about Ariana Grande's cloud uh, perfume and I saw a picture of it. This is what I imagined. It's a very airy vanilla. It smells very sweet, like whipped cream. I personally think this is gorgeous. Really, really pretty, like an airy, perfumey um, whipped cream. That's all I get from it. I think it's gorgeous. I don't know how someone could dislike it, especially if you like gourmand vanillas that are light on the lighter side, which I prefer them that way. I wonder if it dries down more ambery because now I'm getting more of that amber and it's making me kind of like, darn it. Yes, it's drying down, I get a little more amber, but nothing too heavy. It's just very pretty. It's a very pretty girly scent. If you want that, like, this is it. All right, the next tease we have is Candy Noir. Now, anything with the word noir in it, I'm <laughs> assuming I'm not gonna like just because it's usually a little heavier, I would say. So this is a dark gourmand. This is Raspberry Glaze Night Blooming Iris Warm Tonka. So let's try this. Yeah, it's definitely what I imagined it would be. This also reminds me of the Gucci Absolute Pour Femme. This one actually reminds me of it more because it has that darker kind of Oh, maybe it's because that raspberry glaze. That raspberry glaze, yeah, it's that jammy kind of raspberry scent. Um, definitely reminds me of the Gucci one more so than the other one. Scratch what I said for the other one. This one's more like it. it smells like that one without that like unisex woodsiness, but very pretty raspberry. Definitely get that like nighttime floral scent. And a little bit of like a creamy warm note. It's definitely sexy. This also kind of smells like um, one of my coworkers wears, is it Mon Perry or I forgot what it's called, but that, that one, that's kind of what it reminds me of for some reason, but not my kind of scent. Next up we have Heavenly. So I've heard so many people talk about Heavenly. So many people are obsessed with Heavenly and I have never tried it. So Heavenly is a warm fragrance. Um, it's Gold Musk Sandalwood Vanilla White Peony. So not a huge fan of those notes. So maybe that's why I shied away from it. Uh, but I do want to know what the hype is about. So let's see. Yeah, it's not my kind of scent, but it's really good. Like I definitely appreciate it. It's musky sandalwood. That's mostly what I get. Maybe a little bit of floral, a little bit of like a bourbon vanilla, but mostly um, refreshing musky sandalwood. It smells rich, it smells sophisticated, but not my kind of scent. I'm not a big fan of sandalwood or like a bourbony vanilla scent. It's not heavy or deep or like super warm. It's like a refreshing warm. 
It seems like all of their warm scents are more refreshing. All right, now let's talk about the Very Sexy line, which I don't think I've ever smelled them until I got my papers, and then I fell in love with some of them. So the original Very Sexy um, is, I also am not a fan of the packaging for some reason, it feels dated. Um, this is a warm vanilla orchid, sun-drenched clementine, and wild blackberry scent. So, I actually don't remember smelling this, so let's smell it. This smells very good. Very good. For me reading that it's warm, I really liked it. Now, I'm a big fan of, like, citrusy kind of scents, and that clementine, you definitely smell in that opening. I get a little bit of blackberry. It's juicy, but I mostly smell that vanilla note. That vanilla orchid that makes it probably sexy for most people. For me, it's one of those scents that I just don't enjoy. I'm not sure why. It's like a vanilla floral. I just, those kind of scents give me a headache. Um, and when they don't give me a headache, they make me feel like I'm going to get a headache. They're just very in my head. That clementine and that fruity note, delicious. Um, I really like this. I like this a lot. I just, for me personally, that floral vanilla kind of note is not for me. But I can appreciate it, so I definitely don't mind the original um, Very Sexy. All right, next up we have Very Sexy Night. So this is a floral warm uh, black plum velvet woods luscious apple. Floral warm just sounds like nauseating to me, um, but I think if I remember correctly, I liked this one. Yeah, this one is gorgeous, and I think I love it because of that apple note. It's such a luscious apple. It's delicious not too sour, just a refreshing apple scent. You get a woodsiness, but they're right about that velvety kind of smooth woodsiness. And that plum isn't too deep and dark. It's actually pretty refreshing, super fruity. The apple and plum together with that smooth woods, this is a luxurious, refreshing apple kind of fragrance, yes? I understand it's a little warm, but I still think it's pretty refreshing. Now, as it's drying down, it's warming up a little bit. That tartness from the apple is going away. As it's warming up, it's becoming really sexy. Yeah, this one's beautiful. If you're looking for a sexy kind of fruity floral, refreshing but warm scent, yeah, this is sexy. Ooh, I love it. This is one that I might need a full bottle of. So good. Now you guys, I wanna talk about Very Sexy C. If you follow me on Instagram, you already heard me talk about this because I was mad at you guys for not telling me how good it is. So this is a citrus floral woody fragrance. It has Italian bergamot, neroli blossom, sun-drenched cedar. Now this, to my surprise, smells like light blue from Dolce & Gabbana and I don't like it the original uh, light blue because it's very sharp to me, but I like um, a flanker and like dupes of it that don't have that sharp kind of cleaner vibe. This is literally that without a sharp note, a little warmer and a little sexier. I love this. I'm definitely, as soon as there's a sale on this, picking up a full bottle. I really hope it lasts because I know a lot of light blue ones do not last. It's almost like a warm aquatic scent, like so summery, so citrusy, so sweet, but slightly warmer. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's if light blue had like a sexier sister. It's delicious. Then I have a very sexy orchid. This is a warm gourmand. It's black currant, orris woods, sheer patchouli. This is, I love black currant, but this is heavy on the patchouli. It's just, I don't like it. It reminds me of grape, almost like grape medicine. It's just too much for me, too much patchouli, too nauseating. I would not want to be stuck next to someone that's wearing this. Yeah, it's a woodsy patchouli kind of black currant scent. And yeah, it smells purple. I just don't like it. I just don't like this one at all. So yeah, that one's definitely a fail for me. I appreciate it, like I get it, but like I said, if I was stuck in a car with someone that was wearing this, I would probably get out and walk. Not because it's gross, but because it's just too much for me. 
too much patchouli, but you know, to each their own. The last one I want to talk about is Very Sexy Oasis, which I only have in a little card here, uh, but this is Tuberose Camellia and Orange Flower. I really like Very Sexy Oasis. It's almost like a creamy green scent. It's very pretty, but it's not one that I feel like I need in my life. I don't have one to spray. I will say the cards smell different than the sprays. Um, but I do like that one. Alright you guys, those are all the scents I have. Let me know down below your favorite Victoria's Secret perfume and whether it lasts long or not. If any of these last long for you, let everyone know and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.